Hello, you beautiful 99ers. I hope you're having a wonderful week so far. I am Sway to the 99. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Please don't forget to hit the subscribe button. I do post videos every Wednesday and Saturday. Wednesdays, we're in the kitchen. And Saturdays, we're, um, we hit the 99 and we see what, what, you know, what's in stores. And we do product reviews and also what's in my cart. So since we're in the kitchen today, um, we're going to be cooking up a very delicious meal using all ingredients from the 99 cent only store. And we're going to be doing a breakfast meal today. And I'm going to be doing pancakes. And I know if you guys have watched me or if you've been watching me from the very beginning, I know you're going to be like, you've done pancakes before. Um, and those were oatmeal pancakes, which were super delicious. Um, but today's meal is actually going to be um, spinach pancakes. <laughs> yes, you did hear that right. Spinach pancakes. So I will show you all the ingredients um, in a moment, but I just wanted to le let you guys know. Um, and also wanted to let you guys know, um, I do have a very special video coming out on Thursday as well. It's going to be a, a, um, a very special collab with uh, three other YouTubers. So please be on the lookout for that. And that will come out um, tomorrow, Thursday at 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. So, all right, enough of the plug. plug. <laughs> Let's jump right into today's video. All right, so starting off with the main ingredient, we're gonna use the Eagles Mills Buttermilk Complete Pancake. And this one, all you need to do is add water. However, for today's video, we're gonna be adding the rice milk, which I've actually really enjoyed this one. And yes, of course, we need lots and lots of spinach. This is the Earthbound. Um, this was actually the large tub, so this was $1.99. And some beautiful strawberries to top it off. And I did end up having a couple because they're so delicious. So as I was washing them, I was actually having a couple because they are just so tasty. Um, and we're gonna top off, or rather, sorry, we're gonna add, of course, our, our bananas and we're gonna top off the pancakes with the pancake syrup, the light uh, version. And as you can see, I have not tried this bottle yet, so I'll see how it is. And then of course, I'm gonna wash it down with some nice OJ. I got a carton um, <laughs> of OJ at the 99 and i believe this one was 99 no 199 sorry um and of course our beautiful handy dandy um pan that i got at the 99 and i know a lot of you have asked me about it and yes i love it i highly recommend it it's one of my go-to's now i have a complete set of regular pots but now it just is definitely one of my well, actually this is the go-to pan now so anyway um here are all the ingredients that we'll be using for today's video so as you can see it's a pretty simple meal um, again with the twist of adding spinach to it. So let's jump right into it All right guys, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna blend our spinach So we just want to get all of it in or as much as we can with this whatever doesn't fall out <laughs> of the bowl Don't worry, I will pick that up We don't want any of it to go to waste because this stuff is yummy Then we're just gonna, usually I don't measure how much milk, I just eyeball it. Just want enough, um, just to make sure that everything blends in together. So I'm just gonna pour in, I think that's good. Uh, you know, you could always just add more, but you can't take out. So, and then we're gonna add our in our bananas. And I really hope you guys try this recipe at home because I trust me, you will love it. All right, so now we get to the nice and loud part. <laughs> it smells nice and green, you guys. Um, it's very green, which is perfect for what I want because you want to make sure that, you know, you get a nice good spinach flavor in here. And what I don't use today, I will probably just end up drinking, you know? So at least you don't, you're not gonna, you're not going to waste anything uh, making this recipe. So that's also a plus. All right, so next we're going to add one cup of the pancake mix. And if you guys remember these the um, measuring cups are actually the um, Martha Stewart measuring cups, so I love these. So I'm just gonna add a little bit more because I think I shortchanged it a little bit. All right, so I think we're good there. Oh my God, 
You guys, I think part part of the excitement or part of the experience of cooking is making a mess in the kitchen, so bear with me. All right, so now we're gonna add two thirds of the um, spinach mix in here. So I'm just gonna eyeball it and say this is two thirds. And a little more. Okay, just a little more. <laughs> and I'll show you guys in a moment how it, what it, how it looks right now. And I'm sure right now you guys are wondering, Sway, what the hell were you thinking? Um, but believe me, you will not be disappointed when you see the final product. So I'm just gonna mix everything in. And then I will. Sh then next I will take you guys to the pan so you can see um, how these beautiful things come together. So let me just stir this a little bit more and I will be, I'll bring you guys to the stove. Batter. So I think I wanna make mine, I'm gonna use a one third cup so I can make them all consistent. And again, I know you guys are wondering what the hell is he doing? But trust me, these are delicious. So I think this one is ready to turn over. As you can see, it's starting to get all those nice bubbles in here. So let's try to turn this one over. And please work with me, little pancake, please work with me. Okay, I think I'm just gonna leave it in there for another moment and then flip it over. So I think this one was being camera shy because it did not want to flip over when I was filming you guys. But now that I um, paused the camera for a moment, it seems to be um, cooperating. So I just flipped it over and I'm just going to let it um, sit for another 30 seconds and I'll bring you guys closer. So you can see right here, this is what one of the pancake looks like right now. And now that I think about it, this would have been a perfect um, meal for St. Patrick's Day, but Anyway, whatever. It still makes for a delicious meal year round. So I think this one is about to be ready. So I'm gonna make a couple of these and I'll show you guys probably one more so you can see. Um, and then I'll show you guys the finished stack of pancakes. So now we're making the second pancake. So I think in total, we're gonna to get about three pancakes out of this mix, which is works for me. And again, you wanna let make sure that this gets all nice and bubbly before you flip it over. And, and yes, guys, you know I'm gonna say it, it smells delicious because it does. So again, I really hope you guys try this recipe at home because I love it. And here is the first one. As you can see, it's starting to cool off a little bit. Um, so yeah, all right, let's give this one a couple more seconds and I'll flip it over and then I'll just make my third one. I might get be able to scrape a fourth one, but I'm not sure yet. So I am very happy to report that this is my third pancake. Here are the first two, and I have enough for a fourth. So I'm super excited, guys. I know it sounds silly, but I'm actually really excited. And they, I'm telling you guys, please, please try this at home because this tastes, I mean, not taste, I haven't tasted it yet, but it smells delicious. So this one probably needs a couple more seconds before I flip it over. So I think I'm just gonna finish up the fourth one, and then I'll just bring you guys at the end when, I, when I'm as I'm putting together the final plate. But trust and believe, this is amazing. I think it's ready, guys. <laughs> wow, I'm so excited to try this, guys. It looks so beautiful and it smells just amazing. So let's give it a quick bite and close up the video. All right, the moment of truth, the taste test. I'm gonna make sure I get a little bit of each slice. a little 
extra syrup in there. Mmm. Oh my god. Mm. Oh. <laughs> I give it a thumbs up if you guys can see my thumb. It's so good. Mmm. It actually tastes like cake. I'll show you guys what the inside looks like now. You guys can see a little close up there. It's super moist. It's very delicious. And if you're worried about the spinach taste, you can't really notice it. So if you actually, I would say if you add a little bit of cinnamon, you probably would never even notice it. So I would highly say you guys um, give this one a try. It's so beautiful, guys. It actually feels like a, <laughs> it feels like a cake. So I may have a hard time finishing this one. All right, guys, so that wraps up today's cooking video. And as you can see, I am a sweaty mess right now. <laughs> um, I'm telling you, if you guys want to get a workout in, get in the kitchen because it will definitely work you out. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's cooking video. And please, please give this one a try because it's so freaking good. So anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Please don't forget to hit the thumbs up. And if you're not already subscribed, please hit the subscribe button. And please do leave me a comment because I love to interact with you guys in the comment section. I'm very intrigued to know what you guys think about this recipe. Um, I know it's a little different, but trust me, it's very good. So anyway, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button, like I said before. And also, um, if you're not yet part of the 99 Shopaholics, please do get... Um, Follow them on Facebook and I will link them below. So again, I will see you guys tomorrow on a very special Thursday YouTuber collab video. So have a great rest of your week and don't forget to do the 99.